Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today is uh, Friday, July 22nd. Uh, right now it is uh, 5.25 p.m. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to fill the gap between my, um, uh, I guess, my concrete uh, between the floor and the wall of the house. Well, if you guys look on the side right here, it doesn't look that big, but it's actually pretty big big gap in between the the concrete floor and then this is the wall of the house on the side so I'm going to show you guys how to fill out first of all I'm going to clean up uh, these mud area clean everything up and then after well I'm trying uh, clean everything get like an extra depth going after that I'm going to fill it up with sand so I actually got these sand from the beach I actually went to the beach I think this is way too much but obviously you don't need this much after you fill it up with the sand and then I'm going to use the silicone and then anyway I'm just going to show you guys the step so stay tuned okay guys so just want to quickly fill the sand roughly about 80% high not completely so there's a sand right here my hand um, next thing what you want to do is fill the edges the the trench with this uh, back wall wall so um, just go between for the one that ha for the one that with the wide gap uh, what you want to do is you want to twist these two to fill it up so the one with the big gap the one that with a single gap obviously you could fit a single uh, wall in it um, you could get these from home depot it's meant to uh, for gap and joint fill gap and opening so as you could see it mostly for cement um, they come in different size the one that i have here is uh half by 20. Um, i also got these uh other one you got the 5 8 by 20 one but anyway uh, I'll show you guys the next step. Okay guys, so another update. We already put the back wall in already. We twist it. Just give enough space to squeeze the compound in. So the next step is uh, we have this, uh, what you call? There's a Pro Select. From Sika and is a self leveling sealant and it's supposed to seal the concrete. Okay, so I'll show you guys after one. In the meantime, I also want to show you guys how to use these uh, um, sealing gun. The one that I have is a, I think this is a 28 inch or something, it's, it's a long one. Um, obviously. To cut this open, uh, I don't know if you guys see there's a hole right here, and this is usually meant to cut. So, what you do is you squeeze the handlebar all the way, and then this should open up right here. And if you guys see it's sort of like a sharp knife, what you do is you stick this thing in and then close it, and then what it does is it puts up for you. So, oops. So, and then also when you cut, you want to cut it like a, in an angle, slanted. So let me try to do it right now. Have it open, slick it in, slanted, and then. I don't know if you guys could see it right there. It's like a knife. And then you just squeeze. And that's it. In an angle. The reason why I put it in an angle because it's easier to squeeze against the wall. And then what you do is uh, one. Open this up all the way. One stick this in. And then that's it. That's all you do. See it? Alright. Okay guys, it took a while but here's the result. So 
it's not perfect but it's good enough um i will say i need to i have to use the whole three bottle all three of them but i'm planning to buy two more bottle and fill it up i feel like three bottle is not enough um i didn't finish completely all the edges like these i haven't done it right here i did a little bit on this corner right here as you can see the silicone but I still need to do this side. So I'm planning to buy two more bottles and also add a little bit more on these to fill up to the rim on the top edges. But overall, it's so far so good. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you guys plan to do this out, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's good to have a liquid sealant. So it's like liquid. It just fill up all the way to the top so it's easy to use. Uh, very easy to use um, also definitely buy extra um, I obviously obviously made a mistake uh, having too little I should buy extra um, in case if I don't need it I could always return it but you now I need to go buy more but anyway that's the video thanks for watching